Hey everyone, in this video we're actually going to be talking about how to utilize Microsoft Ads and the new Bing as a really premier lead generation tool over traditional forms like Google Ads or Facebook Ads. Um, and we're going to be building out you know, the exact campaigns we use in our accounts um, and also leveraging you know, a few cool tricks and tips at the very end um, that are really going to help you save time and drive results. So we can, we can just jump right in, right? So we're going to go to Tools and Settings and hit Keyword Planner. And one of the things that I really love about Microsoft over Google is that you're see we're seeing you know CPCs upwards of 50% less or even 70% less, which helps result um, in a cost per lead that comes down to about you know 50 to 60% of what we're paying in Google. And we're going to actually show you that in real time. So we're going to just leverage you know mortgage campaign keywords. Um, so we're going to do mortgage company and mortgage company as a phrase match and we're going to just get basic estimates um, and compare it to what we're seeing in Google so hit get estimate here um, and then we're going to enter just a bit of about ten dollars and um, we're going to see what our costs are going to look like so um, Microsoft is saying that we're going to see an average CPC of about 83 cents um, and we're going to spend upwards of about 213 dollars on a nationwide campaign Typically, you know, these estimates are going to be a little bit higher, I would say, even in Google, right? So we're probably going to see a CPC of more so around, you know, 3 to $4 on a national campaign. And you can definitely spend a few thousand here. So we're going to see how this would look like in Google as well. So we're going to just take mortgage company, hit enter, and then get results. And then hit forecast right here. We have to go back to keywords. All right, so click on this word and then just add it as a phrase match, add keyword to create a plan. And then we're going to click this as well and then add it as exact match and then add the keyword to plan as well. Once that's added, you know, go to forecast and we can see these numbers. So it looks like Google's saying that our cost per click is going to be about $1.26. Again, we're typically going to see this, you know, about 50% higher than what Google and Microsoft is saying. But right off the bat that you see, that's double what Google or what Microsoft is giving us. Um, and that's going to result in a higher cost per acquisition. So something to keep in mind, and I know, you know, there's a lot of scalability issues with Microsoft potentially, but, you know, what we've seen with, you know, the new Bing and the new launch of ChatGPT is that, People are flooding to Microsoft and Bing um, as a search engine, and it's resulting in much higher volumes than we've ever seen. However, competitors and you know advertisers haven't yet shifted into the platform, so there's just a great opportunity to utilize these lower cost per click and driving great leads, high quality leads, at a fraction of the cost in Google. So we're going to go back into Microsoft Ads, and we're going to actually build out a campaign um, and we're going to show you, you know, how to build out in this example, you know, a mortgage lead gen campaign that's going to generate mortgage leads. Um, so you're going to hit create campaign and we're going to just hit, um, you know, visit my website and we're going to hit search ads and then next. And again, we're going to build this off of the few keywords that we that we just built. So it's just going to be, you know, purchase mortgage and we're going to do California. Okay, so um, you know, I, I, I've seen a lot of campaigns build out, you know, a mortgage campaign that has refinance and purchase in one. Um, I don't recommend that, right? I think it's really vital to um, have, you know, themed campaigns um, as well as themed ad groups, right? Because we can push budget towards themes or products that are driving better ROI, um, and you don't get that same control if you uh, if you put a purchase and a refinance. Or I mean, this is you know relevant to any any organization that has very different products, right? You want to make sure you're splitting your products and services into different campaigns. Um, and then we're going to do a hundred dollar annual budget. Let me choose a specific campaign or a specific location in California. Hit search. Hit target. Um, and then we're going to only select people that are in your targeted location. This is going to be similar to, you know, Google has a setting that's like this. Um, you just want to make sure that we're only targeting people that are in or living in this area. Um, and then hit English. And then save and go to the next step. So um, just put your website here. Pretty straightforward. Ad group name. This is just going to be, you know, mortgage company. Um, and you can build out, you know, a lot of different ad groups. Right? We have mortgage company. We could do FHA. We could do VA. We could do product more product focused, mortgage broker terms, right? 
So we're basically going to just put uh, mortgage company here. Um, just the phrase match variation because you know when you're creating a lead generation campaign it's really important that you put you consolidate phrase match or you consolidate match type um, in campaigns as well right so this is just going to be a mortgage purchase campaign in California for phrase match again going to give us a lot of control and a lot more leverage to pull um, opposed to when you put exact and phrase match in a campaign it becomes very difficult to actually um, you know, understand what keywords and what search terms are, uh, are really driving results, right? You can really muddy the water here. Now hit save and go to the next step. And it, you know, I have a few a few videos on building out ads and ad assets, but basically um, you're just gonna add, um, you know, your, your assets that are already here, like ad extensions. You're gonna build out focused ad extensions, right? That can take people to alternate landing pages um, and hits on, on different products, right? So in, in this mortgage example, you're gonna add an ad extension for maybe a mortgage calculator, maybe talk to a broker, uh, contact us, and even like a first time home buyer. Um, guide right and send them all to these different landing pages so that when people that are, that are searching um, for a mortgage company in California but they happen to be a first-time home buyer that messaging really hits to them right um, this is one of the aspects to Microsoft Ads that Google um, doesn't really have a great uh, a great version of it's an action extension um, and it's actually a, basically a really focused call to action right so if you have an apply um, a application page, right? You can put this right here, and it basically is just like a highlighted button that helps drive action immediately without adding, you know, adding a whole lot of more context. So this is again in a great lead gen tool because it's all about calling to action and trying to drive people to do something. Um, there's a lot of options here for a lot of different. Um, you know a lot of different industries right there's an end rule now for education play a game for an app for an app post job for maybe a recruiter um, again this is like such a great tool that not a lot of businesses are utilizing um, but i've seen really great results from this action extension here um, so just pick something that, that's going to fit for you right so right now we're going to just use the application example um, all right and hit save Okay, so add your call it extensions again. Um, you know, this is pulling from our you know agency website, and so um, it's going to be more marketing focused, right? Um, so create create callouts that are going to be focused to your brand or, or your products, right? Um, you know, whether it's you know again in the mortgage example, use FHA, VA, you know, use all the different products that you have, um, and that can be really helpful. And then go through, you know, add a, add a call extension, add a location extension if you have, um, you know, a brick and mortar business um, and just build out extensions as much as you can. And then hit save and go to next step. Okay, so we're going to actually create an ad here. Um, so hit uh, just create ad and um, hit responsive search ad. And I have, again, I have a few videos that break down how to build out responsive search ads. So I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time, but I'll do a really brief version of this, right? So basically when you're creating ads, um, you wanna highlight three or four things, right? Number one, you wanna tell the user who your brand is, right? So in this example, you know, we're, we're mortgage company LLC, right? Um, and that typically is a great for a second or third headline. Um, and, and it's always good to put, if you have a register or, um, you know, a uh, trademark or anything that can kind of help create some authority right in the space so yeah, if you're again if you have a trademarked name or an LLC or some sort of type of um, designation um, that helps stand out right and the second piece is really going to be putting your keywords um, that are you're targeting in your first or second headline right so this is all about relevancy so it's about meeting people for what they're specifically searching um, so you're gonna want to put something like you know mortgage company in California or even uh, you know I'll do one better right um, top mortgage company in California because um, again you want to help create uh, create authority and um, show why you're different right um, and the second piece or the third piece is going to be value proposition right so what about your business um, is different from your competitors is it you know fast closings is it low rates right so add your value prop um, in one of your headlines the multiple headlines actually 
um, to really showcase why you're different and why you want to drive a click to this ad and not another ad, right? And then the last piece is going to be a, a unique call to action, right? Uh, don't put learn more, right? Uh, maybe, uh, you know, talk to an LO in minutes, right? So something that really helps drive that action that is relevant to the intent, um, but uh, ultimately helps drive a click away from the other ads into your ads, right? You wanna think about it really, you know, from a CTR battle, uh, a click-through rate battle, you know, how do, do your ads stand out and how can you be as relevant and focused as possible um, for your users or people searching? Okay, so in the description, it's gonna be more of the same, except you're gonna expound upon what we've already done, right? So um, it's always good to add your keywords into your descriptions as well. Um, so we're gonna put, you know, top mortgage company in California, you know, see why thousands, thousands use mortgage company LLC. Um, every day, right? So something like this, something just as, just really focused on who you are, um, why you're different, um, and then the second description is gonna be more call to action focused, right? Um, so get access to, um, you know, industry experts, industry experts in minutes. Um, and you might wanna make these a little bit robust, and, and again, it's always a good best practice for any responsive search ad you're gonna to wanna to max out your headlines and max out your descriptions. Um, and then you can just hit save, right? So we're gonna, again, throw in our, our agency landing page here and just hit save right here. Okay, so now that that's in there, you know, typically it's good to add two ads per ad group. Um, so we're gonna hit save and go to the next step. Okay, so we have our budget um, bid strategy, right? So Again, this is a best practice for all search campaigns. Um, you don't have a lot of data right now, right? So you typically want to start with enhanced CPC so that you can make a real-time adjustments to bids um, and try to drive uh, users towards the keywords that are going to be more impactful. And uh, once you have about 30 to 40 um, days and or 30 to 40 conversions in about a month, you're going to want to toggle this over to target CPA. Um, you know, that's going to help you create a level of consistent lead generation um, and kind of give the automation some fuel. I think if you have a more robust conversion strategy, um, you know, you want to play around more with target ROAS, target return on ad spend. This is a really, um, really lucrative uh, bid strategy, but it takes a lot of integration. Um, I have another video on offline conversions, and we're actually gonna be publishing um, a Microsoft offline conversion video shortly as well, but I did wanna call that out, right? So again, start off with, enha with enhanced CPC. And we're gonna put our bid, we're gonna wanna make sure we're serving at the top page. So we're gonna put an $8 bid, and this might actually change um, as we, uh, we see what the real-time data looks like. All right, so hit campaign targets. Um, you know, we're gonna keep everything open right now. Um, sometimes, you know, from the get-go, I like to decrease uh, tablet by 100, so all of my budget's going to desktop or smartphone. If I don't have a great smartphone experience, and I know that, maybe decrease it by 5%, but be careful, right, because there's so many people searching on smartphone that it's, it's a really vital um, device type and user type. Um, and then hit advanced campaign settings. Um, and you're gonna wanna set up a, a target day and a target um, time range depending on your operations, right? Um, typically, I think uh, I see 8 a.m. to about 7 p.m. Monday through Friday work really great. If you have sales, a sales team that works the weekends, you can also do that as well, right? So we're gonna use the assumption that we only have our sales team working Monday through Friday, um, eight to seven, um, during the working hours. And again, you know, a big part of seeing success in Google or in Microsoft ads in any campaign is having a level of integration with your account team or your operations team. All right, so we're gonna hit add distribution. So um, basically, where on the internet do your ads show? Recently, Microsoft made a few adjustments and I think this is in large part due to the new ChatGPT experience um, and the chat network in general. Um, but you wanna read these and ensure what's really gonna work, right? So you have two options. 
For the entire Microsoft, Microsoft advertising network, this option includes Microsoft Sites, additional partner traffic, and extended reach at lower cost per click or Microsoft's, Microsoft Sites and Selected Traffic. This option includes Microsoft Sites and Selected Partners with performance and conversion rates similar to Microsoft's Bing. Um, you're gonna wanna select the second option, right? The, the first option is gonna distribute your ads all over the internet, right? All over search engines that are on different websites or blogs, right? You know, there, there's, a, there's a handful of options, right? If you hit the Microsoft Sites and Selected Traffic, that's only gonna allow your ads to serve on Bing, um, Yahoo, and potentially ChatGBT, right? So we've actually had some conversations with Microsoft reps recently, and they can't disclose um, really how to know if your ads are gonna be serving in the chat experience at this point in time, but you know, it's probably gonna be a little bit more expensive and a little bit more focused, um, which leads me to believe that you're gonna get an option to serve that in, um, if you select Microsoft Sites and select Traffic. Um, either way, you're giving up some control, but with that second uh, option, you're gonna have a lot more um, say in terms of gener or driving um, results with a little bit higher traffic. And then you're gonna, you're gonna just hit save. Okay, so um, now that we are in our campaign, we're gonna wanna go over to tools and settings and make sure that our conversion tracking is set up. Um, so go over to the UET tag, so conversion tracking in Microsoft is a little bit different. Um, so you're gonna to wanna to create um, a UET tag, which is basically um, universal event tracking um, for every specific uh, account that you have. Um, and basically you drop a tag in, you know, utilizing Google Tag Manager or however you wanna do it. Um, then you create specific events like form fills or um, video watches, and then you're able to push that back into Google, or I'm sorry, push that back into Microsoft Ads. So I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on on this specific form. I'm gonna do a whole nother video on the UET tag and, and conversion tracking in Microsoft, but just make sure that this is, you have your UET tag um, associated to the right site and you can build out conversions accordingly. Okay, so if you're still watching, you know, thank you so much. You know, please don't forget to like and subscribe. The trick and tip that I'm going to um, add in here that's going to save you a ton of time is actually if you have a campaign in Google that's working really well, you can import directly from Google Ads. This is going to be a big time saver. And if you only have one campaign you want to bring in, you can do that as well. You're going to sign into your Google Ad campaign, follow this, the settings accordingly, and import all of your data, right? Which is going to be extremely impactful, right? So again, if you have a campaign that's running really well, import your Google campaign, make a few quick edits, and you should see CPCs, again, uh, upwards of 50% lower and CPLs upwards of about 50% lower. Um, so yeah, that's going to be everything for this Microsoft Ads and Bing lead generation campaign or lead generation video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll hope to see you on the next one.